Hey what's up guys welcome to cubic soul youtube channel and in this video we are going to learn how to implement a recycler view in android studio in this video we will create a recycler view like you can see on the screen and we will show some context to our user inside our android app and we will do it using recycler view so this is a complete tutorial of recycler view stay tuned watch the video till the end and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos let's start so first of all here you can see that i have opened my android studio and you have to click on new project select mpt activity and press on next button i'm going to name this recycler view tutorial select java language and minimum sdk will be api 21 press on finish button android studio will create a simple project for you because we want to implement our recycler view to our main activity that's why i will open an activity in underscore main click on split button and here i am going to remove this text view here i have to type recycler view press enter button and its width will be match parent and height will be match parent forward slash and give an id to this recycler view recycler view next click on this resource folder and right click on layout folder new and click on layout resource file and i am going to name this single list item press ok button and here we will design our single item view so click on split button and uh, so we have to remove this constraint layout from here and convert it to the card view and its height will be 500 dp and give margin to this card view 8 dp this margin this margin will appear to the top to the right to the left and to the bottom of your card view and next type here card corner radius card corner radius will be 12 dp and lastly we have to type here card elevation 4 dp it will give a little bit shadow to your card so we have designed a card here and next we have to type here constraint layout and its width will be match parent and height would be match parent close this one and inside this we have to design our single list item because we are going to display a list of some contacts that's why i will use a circular image view inside my this single list item so first of all i will download the library to display a circular image view to download the library from google you have to open the google and search here circular image view you will see the first link of github website click on this link scroll down and you can create this type of circular image view inside your android app and uh, from below section you have to copy this dependency and open your android studio and click on this gradle script folder and again click on build.gradle scroll down and here you have to paste your library and you will see a sync now button to the top right just click on this sync now button so our android studio will sync our library our library have been synced and now again open single list item and here we have to type circle image view and its width would be 96 dp and height would be 96 dp you can set its width and height according to your choice i have downloaded these three images inside my computer so i will just copy them copy and open your android studio right click on drivable folder and click on paste button and select the drivable folder not the v24 only single drivable folder and press ok button and you can change your image name i will remain it as it is and press ok button so here you can see that this is my profile image now i will copy and paste my remaining two profile images in my drivable folder here you can see that i have copy and paste the remaining two profile images again open your single list item and here type android colon source is equal to profile one so guys here you can see that my profile image have been appeared and now i just have to constrain it to the top constrain it from the left and mar give margin left adp and margin top will be adp that's it and uh, now we have to place two text view here so first of all I'll click on design and drag this text view here constrain it constrain it with the left side constrain it to the top and give margin top to this text view 10 dp and margin left would be 16 dp again click on design drag and drop the second text view and constrain it with the bottom of the first text view and it constrain it from the left side that's it click on split button and this text view margin top would be 8 dp and margin left would be 16 dp here i have to insert some dummy data here so i'm going to type here fahim and here we have to insert a dummy phone number here so i will type a dummy phone number here that's it so text style will be bold so it will look a little bit beautiful
full and text color would be black and give text size 24 sp to our or 22 sp to our name text view and the text size of our phone number text view will would be 18 sp so that's it and now give id to this text view tv phone number and give id to this first text view tv name copy this and paste it here and the id of our circle image view will be circle image view in a camel case so we have done this part and now close this single list item close your activity underscore main close this file and close this file also next we have to create here, here a data class because you know when you are going to implement recycler view you will must have a data source maybe you receive your data from my api from firebase or from somewhere else but in my case i will create a data class here and i will insert data manually uh, by using my main activity so just right click on your package name new and click on java class and name this my data class press ok button and inside this we have to create three variables the first uh, variable will be of type private string name comma and phone number semicolon and the second third variable would be of type int and i'm going to name this image id semicolon i have write this image id in camel case now you have to press alt plus insert button click on constructor and select these three methods and press ok button so it will create a constructor for you again click here press alt insert and click on getter and setter select the three of the variables and press ok button and android studio will automatically create getters and setters for these three variables to implement the recycle view you need an adapter so first of all let's just understand what is adapter in simple words adapter is a bridge between your data source and ui to create an adapter right click on your package name new and click on java class and i'm going to name this my list adapter and here it will extend recycler view dot adapter and inside this i have to pass my class name my list adapter dot view holder so because it is giving an s an error don't worry just click on this and press press alt enter and click implement methods so we have to implement these three methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count press ok button and next again click on this view holder and again press alt enter button and click on create class view holder so here you can see that it have create a view holder class again click on this view holder again press alt enter button and click on the first option and uh, now you can see that our view holder is extending recycler view dot view holder class again click on this line and press alt enter button and click create constructor matching super so that's it you just have to press alt enter again and again and uh, your a lot of adapter code will be written by automatically by android studio next click here inside your view holder class and type here text view and uh, the first text view name would be tv name and the second text view name would be tv phone number semicolon and next declare a circle image view here circle image view semicolon and inside your view holder method type here tv name is equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot tv name semicolon and tv phone number is equal to item view dot dot find view by id r dot id dot tv phone number semicolon and next circle image view is equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot circle image view semicolon that's it we just have declared two text views and one circle image view and we have just find view by id them with their respective ids and these ids we were given our single list item here you can see that tv underscore name tv phone number and circle image view and here inside view holder class you have to type here view view is equal to layout inflator dot from and to the outside to the view holder class you have to type here context context and uh, you have to pass this context here dot inflate r dot layout dot single list item parent and the third parameter would be false semicolon and uh, in the returning section we have to type new view holder and inside this we have to pass our view next here we have to create a private 
variable of type my data class press semicolon and now you have to press alt plus insert alt plus insert and click on constructor and press ok button so here you can see that my constructor have been created uh, i'm going to undo this because we have to name our this variable my data class which will be maybe my data class is and now i will press alt insert button and when i will click on constructor it will give me two options and i have to select both of them and press ok button and it will create constructor for my data class and for my context as well inside your get item count we have to type here my data classes dot length and now inside the on bind view holder method we have to type here holder dot tv name dot set text and inside this we have to pass our this object name which is my data classes so i'm going to copy this and paste this here and type here position dot get name and next we have to type here holder dot tv phone number set text my data classes position dot get phone number and finally we have to type here holder dot circle image view dot set image resources r dot sorry my data classes and position dot get image id so that's it our adapter code have been completed and now you just have to close your adapter class and also close this single list item but before closing this you have to just do the one thing that is uh its width would be not 500 dp you have to set its width wrap content and you can give padding bottom 12 dp so it will look a little bit better uh, but i have to here again type here padding bottom 12 dp so that's it the reason i was give 500 dp a uh, height to my card view so i can design it uh, in a good way otherwise you will face a little bit difficulty to, to design this that's why it's a good practice to give height 500 or 400 or 600 dp and then you can turn your height into uh, into wrap content next open your main activity and inside your own cat method type here my data class and i'm going to name this list data is equal to new my data class mid brackets and put semicolon at the end and inside this you have to type here new my data class and here we have to insert our dummy data so i'm going to type my first data and it will get three parameters fahim uh, name and next would be phone number so i'm going to type here random phone number and next Next, we have to type here r dot driver dot profile one comma and again copy this paste this and paste this again third time just change its name like i'm going to type here find gap change the phone number and again change this phone number and i'm going to convert this name to cubic soul and we just have to change these images name type here profile three that's it i have just insert some dummy data inside my my data class next you have to type here recycler view recycler view is equal to new recycler view and inside this sorry we have to remove this and uh, we have to type here typecast this recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view semicolon and next we have to type here my list adapter my list adapter is equal to new and again type here my list adapter and here we have to pass two parameters the first parameter will be the context so i will type this here and the second parameter will be object of our my data class so just copy this and paste this it here semicolon next i just have to type set has sorry recycler view dot set has fix size true recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager pass your context here and lastly we have to type here recycler view dot set adapter my list adapter so friends congrats congratulations our code have been completed and now let me just run the app so i can show you the output so friends here you can see that our app have been run to our emulator and you can see a beautiful recycler view with three items that we were inserted in our my data class so guys i hope you must enjoy this video and uh, you know that recycler view is one of the most important topic of android app development i recommend you to watch this video one to two to three times so you can understand it in a better way and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn android apps development and subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and finally thanks for watching